In this video we are going to test our Arduino setup with a Bluetooth module. In a previous experiment we uh, we had case switch statements uh, that we programmed an Arduino with and we used Arduino serial monitor from Arduino IDE to send some characters and see the effects of uh, this uh, sent character on some LEDs that we had connected. Today's lab is an extension to that except that we are not going to use Arduino we are going to use a mobile device with Bluetooth. So uh, the famous Bluetooth modules that are commonly used or easily available are HC05 and HC06. We are going to talk a little bit about those. So your Arduino Uno, uh, your first Arduino Uno that you bought will have a USB cable and what is a USB cable? USB cable A is basically a serial port. Okay, universal serial bus, so it's basically a serial port. Okay. If you break up a USB cable, you'll see there are four wires. Generally, they they are in these colors. Okay, obviously based on manufacturer, the colors may be slightly different, but uh, there's a wire for five volts and a black wire for zero volt for ground okay. some good cables are properly shielded okay you will see some shielding with with cable okay. so this is just for removing noise okay it has nothing to do with the connection or or data transmission so out of the four wires the two wires which is uh, 5 volt and 0 volt these are for power and then there are two other wires which are called D plus and D minus okay so they are these are the USB channels these are the serial channels for transmission and receiving a USB slot look like this okay this is USB type A the standard one that we have and type B there are four wires and uh, the first pin okay, is 5 volt and the fourth pin is 0 volt okay so pin number 1 and pin number 4 they are for power and pin number 2 and pin number 3 these are used for signal okay, which is data uh, receiving and data transmission Okay, uh, your Arduino board, which looks like this, it has a serial port. Okay, that's where you connect your USB through serial port. Okay. But if you look at the board closely, you will see there are two pins TX and RX, okay, which are the digital pin number 0 and 1. These two pins are basically your serial channel, your serial port pins. Okay, TX is for transmission, RX is for receiving. So why, what are they used for? You can use them to communicate between two Arduino devices. Okay. So if you have two Arduino boards that you want to connect with each other, remember the TX pin from the first Arduino will be connected to the RX pin to the second Arduino and vice versa so the TX and RX uh, they are well actually they, they are the USB I mean the USB cable is basically the same thing but if you are using uh, some other channel like if you are connecting these two pins with other Arduino or if you are connecting these two pins with uh, other devices other in Bluetooth for example so in that case you have to make sure that you are not using the USB cable for data transmission 
Okay, it can cause a conflict and it will it will probably not work. Okay, so this is the HC05 and HC06 modules. Uh, you'll see they look very similar to each other, okay, except that one of them have more pins. They are very commonly available. They are uh, reasonably cheap, and well, thanks to China, we we can afford these kind of electronics with even with our pocket money. So this is the difference. This is HC05, okay. And the previous slide in this one, the one on the right, that is HC05. And you see there are more pins in this one compared to uh, this one. Okay, this is 06 and this is 05. Okay, so HC05 has extra pins. Okay, the start pin and the EN, uh, the state pin and the EN or enable pin, they are not available on HC06 and we will not go into details of these we will just focus on the pins that we have available that we have come well that we have common with both okay. so the rx tx ground and vcc okay, as the name indicates receiver transmitter and power pins so the vcc and ground the, the VCC for uh, for these devices goes from 3.3 volts up to 6 volt and ground is ground so these you will short with the Arduino board and then the RX from uh, this Bluetooth module will go to the TX on Arduino and the TX from this device will go to RX pin on Arduino. The connection will look like this. Okay, TX goes to RX and RX goes to TX. Okay, so you need to be careful with these. Okay, this is the connection. This is the setup that I have uh, looks like. Um, then I have some LEDs connected to pin two, three, four, five, and six. And yes, if I can send the same characters like. I did in previous lab then uh, it, it should have the same effect uh, I mean, by sending characters to serial port should have the same effects on the lights as I had in previous lab except that in previous lab I used a serial monitor from my computer through USB cable this time I'm going to repeat the same using this uh, Bluetooth module Yeah, so if you remember the serial monitor we had in the tools menu uh, in the tools uh, menu on Arduino IDE there was a serial monitor and uh, you can access the serial monitor by pressing control shift and M yeah. and this is how the serial monitor window looked like okay so moving forward now Bluetooth mobile there are quite a number of Bluetooth mobile applications that you can find on the app stores and you can just download any of those and you can configure it according to your needs and you can use it okay. uh, in, in my lab in today's lab we are going to use an application that uh, I have designed looks like this uh, very simple very simple interface and I will share with you that application also in your Google classroom okay. uh, in fact I'm going to put this uh, this application on Play Store you know so you can get it from there yeah okay, obviously it will be free so in in my application uh, the one which I have designed uh, there's a First of all, you have to do some pairing. Okay, before starting the application, the uh, Bluetooth 
a module HC05 or HC06 have to be paired and by pressing this button with Bluetooth on I will choose from my paired Bluetooth devices okay either HC05 or HC06 or whichever I have available then there's this label once my connection is established this will change to green connected and the data that I want to send to Arduino will I will type it here it's a text box so I will type my data my characters or the data I send by Bluetooth device I will type it here and by clicking on the send button my data will go to uh, the Arduino to, to Bluetooth device and eventually to Arduino yeah. and okay uh, there's another label that you you will see in the middle which says data to send okay let's let me highlight it with a pen so in my application what I have done is I have uh, the, this is just an indication that data is sent okay so it will change in, in my application it will change color every time I send a data so I know that it's it's successful or it's done and I will have to long click to disconnect and exit from my application. I have designed this application in uh, the MIT App Inventor. Okay, it's a cloud. Uh, well, it's it's a free. It's a web web based programming cloud computing, and it's free. And I have uh, made. I have prepared a separate video on how I designed this application and tested it and uh, you can you should see that video if you want to design your own applications so uh, here's my flowchart and uh, is the same flowchart we had from the switch case lab by sending these characters I will have these effects obviously we had some modification in the end by sending uh, by uh, what was it that was case uh, X for turning all the lights on and case P for blinking the lights three times okay. and uh, this is the sketch I mean it's the same sketch that we had uh, previously and here okay so yeah it's the same sketch the same program the same code that we had from the switch statement lab and I have a code here okay so the same code is in Arduino I have not changed anything on my Arduino and okay let's test okay so uh, I'm going to make a different video with my mobile phone with its screen recorder and camera and I will I will enter data I will enter my variables or my characters on uh, my mobile screen and uh, I will see the effect of uh, those on the Arduino on the LEDs and well there's a separate video that I will I will uh, put here uh, put here for you now okay, so stay tuned so I got my uh, Bluetooth patched up and uh, because my battery is low so I'm gonna power it up using a uh, battery uh, sorry a power bank okay or or a plug uh, thing is because with this cable uh, is the same cable uh, we use with a laptop or computer but uh, with this cable uh, connected to a power bank it's only providing power the data pins are not used so what I'm going to do next is I've already paired uh, I have already paired my Bluetooth sorry my HC06 uh, with Bluetooth okay HC05 so it's already paired so what I need to do now is I'll just start the application that I made and as I said you can you can find you can use any applications that you can find on the App Store uh, this is the one I made and okay let me change the size of this video if I can 
no I cannot okay so I will click here uh, right here okay I'll click here to select my uh, Bluetooth and then from the list I will select the Bluetooth uh, which is uh, this one okay and this uh, HC06 and after that I will uh, put my data here and I will send it to turn the lights on okay right so uh, select Bluetooth I select HC05 uh, which is the one I have is connected okay now uh, we know by sending the letter A it will turn on the green light and uh, the letter A is stored in the memory the one which is uh, the, the buffer for the serial port so it's uh, it's that's why I mean for the case statement A is always there which means the green light will be on it will not be off uh, for I mean after a second to make it off I need to send a different uh, character different data to the buffer uh, so that it goes to default and turn it off let's say I send J I don't have any J in my case statement so I will send J and it will off after one second okay similarly I can send B to turn on the red light and by sending J or, or L or any number which any character which is not in our case statement it will uh, turn it off after one second okay uh, next is I'm going to send uh, let's say C which will be the third light and by letter S because S is not in my statement so it will turn it off after one second and similarly I will do it for D which will turn the fourth light and turn it off to turn off I'm just sending random characters which I know are not in my case statement and finally E is for the final one the last one and there you go the last one uh, this one this uh, yellow one seem late but it's not actually okay so let's turn it off and what else so uh, we had uh, what we had we had uh, yes we had X was it X X was the one which will turn all the lights on and uh, there was one more which was uh, what was that uh, P I think P yes P was the one which is uh, P is the one that's the one which will blink the light three times so by sending P one two three the lights are blinking three times okay so that's how we use bluetooth uh, and uh, I will put this uh, I'll, uh, well I'll put the link for this application in my description uh, in, on, on classroom so you can download this app or as I said you can download any app that send bluetooth characters Okay, so to turn to exit this application, I'm going to just long click. Long click is going to exit this application. Okay. So, okay. okay, this is the setup.